In this video, I leave Oliver Lee for the day and head up to Cloudcroft and then Riadosa. And I put this map in here just to kind of show you. Of course, you can pause it. And we are going up just past Cloudcroft on 244. And this is one of the roads that goes up to the Silver Spring and I think Apache Campgrounds. And then I'll take you on the road that goes on to Highway 70. Out of their campsites, they're $26 a night. And it's just dry camping. But people like to come here. It's really nice. Most cars I see are from Texas. <laughs> this is still 244 outside of Cloudcroft. And when I'm camping in someplace warm like Valley of Fires or Oliver Lee, I like to go up into the mountains because it's so much cooler. I mean, it was in the 90s at Oliver Lee, and it was probably in the high 60s, low 70s here. And I like to take the dogs around, just mess around, just take a day trip. You know, you don't have to sit and stew at a hot campground. You know, it's pleasant at Oliver Lee in the evening time, but it's really warm during the day. So I just kind of went up exploring, and I'm going to take you on a little, I guess it's a forest road trail in just a second. Nice. There's horse poo-poo. I see horsey poop. Passed some people on a horse while ago. Looks back. That. We just turned down a road that said 405 on a little bitty marker. Let's see what's down here. Let's see, there's a little sign down here. Let's see what this says. We'll turn around up here. Oh, fire and danger. This is Zinker Canyon Trailhead. Huh. Let's see. Hiking, horse, bike. No motorized vehicles. Let's just park right here and get out. I always take pictures of these pretty little flowers around and then it's out of focus. What is that? Tell me they're eating grass or whatever this is. Y'all really? What is that? That is really pretty. Wow. Lots of flowers. That has a fire danger. They lifted the burn ban at Oliver Lee, which I was surprised. Now it says moderate. Of course, there's a, a lovely dirty diaper and a pair of shorts in that fire pit. I'll pick that up. Look at the flowers. Really pretty. I know I say that a lot. Oh, it's this one. What is that one? It's really pretty. Gemma. <laughs> okay, we gotta watch for bears and stuff. Don't wanna get the let the bears get the poodles. See how it does, those clouds roll in every afternoon. Oh, it's so nice. 60 something for sure. Okay, we're still on 244. And I'm literally driving about 30 until someone comes up behind me just to enjoy the temperature and the scenery. Isn't that pitiful? It is so nice and cool. It's about 65. Just beautiful. I just saw a really pretty scrub jay. I think it's the scrub jay, or maybe, no, maybe it's that mountain. I can't remember which one that is. That mountain blue jay. I'll have to look that up. With the darker head, he's real, real blue. just saw my very first mule deer right next to the road. A little female right on the road. Oh, we're still on 244. Coming up on 70. We're headed north. Here are the wild horses right in town. The babies are sleeping. Look at those people on the side of the road. <laughs> I came off and parked in a parking lot. 
so we could see him. We decided to come to the dog park again. We haven't been here since last year. Oh, we got some, they said new customers. <laughs> we love this dog park. It, is, it still feels like it's about, I don't know, I get maybe 70. It wasn't too much farther down the road, about 20 minutes from where I was. So I thought, you know what? It's 3.30, it's still gonna be 90 something degrees and at the campsite, so we just came up here. Lots of people and dogs. <laughs> this is the place where we found the, the wild horses from the football field last time. <laughs> I don't know how they keep the water so clean in this bucket every time we've been here. Look, dupe. What are you doing? Every time we've been here, it's just crystal clear. And of course, it's ice cold water. This dog has definitely got some blue tick in him. He's, he sounds like a hound dog. Jupe. Jupe doesn't like to be sniffed. <laughs> oh, Jupe, you gotta get water in the little bucket. Oh yeah, y'all do. So we do. Jim has found a friend always. <laughs> we got blue we had willow here <laughs> they did the whole run around the park are y'all finally tired dang it i always miss when they do that we made it back to the campsite and it was really pleasant not so hot and the evening was really really nice so i'm glad we took that day trip we're back at the dog park today, the next day. <laughs> Just don't waste it. And we're the only ones here. We're gonna head back to Texas. And I had the choice, obviously, which way to go. I could go from Oliver Lee south through El Paso to Fort Davis. And then on I-10, there we are. But I really hate I-10, it just scares me. You know, because I'm going 60, 62, and the trucks are going 80, and I figured out I could come up this way on 70, and then up through Roswell and that way back home. And it's so nice up here. I mean, it's just so much cooler up here, and I feel safer going that way. There we are. What are you doing? And we're just gonna lounge in the shade. It feels so nice. And it's 104 right now for the next two days at home. And do I wanna go back to that? No. <laughs> well, we just left the dog park and went through some rain at about 70 degrees. And I think it's 102 in Roswell. Oh, I don't wanna leave. I wanna bottle up the air and take it with me so pleasant outside even right now we will definitely be back we made it on the other side of Roswell and it's about 30 degrees hotter and it's flat it's like someone turned the furnace on <laughs> I'm glad I decided not to go on Interstate 10 because there's just hardly anybody on this road outside of Roswell I just feel better. I just don't like those big trucks. And it might be a little bit longer, but I'd rather feel comfortable driving than feel, you know, white knuckling it the whole way. 